So this has come out of really, um, ironically, in the summer uh, he was having a two-week stay. He's just had a port of calf fitted so he can have IVs uh, through that. So it's uh, less traumatic every time he needs them. Um, so he's got a big thing sticking out of his chest here that he, he lives with. And um, yeah, it was the summer and uh, Keith was on holiday and we were obviously trying to sign Ian Henderson. And, uh, we got the great news six o'clock in the morning, and uh, I was led uh, on the floor in Preston uh, Royal, and uh, Brandon's obviously having his treatments, uh, and uh, we woke up to this news like, and uh, it was from that that this has sort of started really, because we signed Ian, gave him a right spring in his step that day, um, and Ian became his favourite Rochdale player for the first time this season. He's decided not to have Beach on the back of his shirt, but have Henderson on the back of it. So uh, I don't mind it. He's, you know, he's, Ian's not bad to be fair. So uh, I don't mind him representing that on the back of his Rochdale shirt. But uh, yeah, that's where it came from. So like, he's got uh, this sort of thing with uh, Endo, and uh, we've committed to a bed that uh, you know, there's no cure. There's no cure for CF. The average age. Lifespan's about 35. If you were born in the 70s and 80s, you were lucky to make your teenage years. So it, it, it's, it's a serious condition. There's no cure. So it's about maintenance and it's about elongating life. It's about having good practice and being rhythmic with his medicines and things. And this bed's a vibrating bed. It's a high velocity vibrating bed, which uh, is adjustable to. So at home, you can, like in hospital, you can sit up and move around. And they're made to order beds. And we know a little boy who lives in Lancashire who's had it and his aerobic capacity's improved. And Brandon sits at around 80% at the moment, which isn't great, but it's not that bad. It was actually about a year ago down to the 60s. And uh, the bed just basically uh, encourages oxygen around the body through the vibrations, alleviation of pain, yeah, it gets a lot of back pain, um, and just, just sort of general health and well-being sort of symptoms to it but when Brandon's in a relaxed state when I do his physio and tickle him and, and rough him up a little bit we tend to get up more mucus in that way than the sort of serious process physio technique and I, I feel it, it'll benefit greatly from it by being in a relaxed state while it's got these high velocity vibrations going through him a bit like the vibra plates actually in the gyms that the players use before games but it's more of an intense uh, murmur type vibration um, it, it'll definitely benefit and there is evidence that it has helped this, this other little boy who lives in Lancashire. But they're very expensive and we've committed, we've, we've put a, a deposit down on it, but uh, as soon as Ian found out that we're trying to do it and he knows Brandon's part of our, our language and our culture at the club, like, you know, he loves Saturdays coming here, you know, everybody says hello to him and he, he thinks he runs the place I think. But, uh, <laughs> The best part of his week is, is the 90 minutes. Uh, there's no doubt about that for his, for his life. But uh, Ian got wind of it, and uh, we can say, well, why don't we do something for him? Instead, of, you know, we do, you do all this stuff for for, for the Sisty Barrosses Trust. We've raised lots of thousands of pounds for it. You know, and Brandon's going to get a personal benefit out of this. And Ian said, well, what, we'll do something. I'll put in. I'll, I'll give you some money out of the wages. I'll, I'll we'll get him this bed. Let's get him this bed. So that's where it's sort. Of, sort of grew from really and obviously Movember you got the moustaches and things and I just sat it on I thought oh Brandon's beard why don't we all just look to grow beards and the players have jumped on it Keith's all over it because uh, I think he's good at growing <laughs> hair at this end of his uh, of his head rather than the, the top half but uh, yeah, I don't think if we all grew our hair long, I'm not too sure he'd be too keen with that idea but uh, there's a few staff actually a bit slow coming forwards but uh, there's massive rumours that there's a couple of them dye the hair, so the, the true colours are going to come out in the facial area, so uh, we'll, we'll see about that one. But uh, no, everybody's right behind it. And if the supports can get behind it and do whatever they want to do, whether they, whether they want to sort of put to and, and, and see yourself in a club shop and Stuart and get a sponsorship form, whatever, grow a beard themselves and just, just feel part of the team. That, it's, it's actually something that's... Uh, going to be really good from, from the bottom to the top of the football club. We're hopeful that uh, some of the directors will get involved and uh, maybe the chairman might uh, sport a beard, who knows, but uh, we've, we've managed to sort of uh, put some pressure on Colin Garlick to get involved because uh, he was adamant yesterday he weren't doing it, but uh, 
he's now been uh, encouraged to grow a bit. So it, it's it's good, it's good because people can relate to the players, and obviously Brandon's really proud. So I think there's 11 players representing him with uh, with growing facial hair. Like he's he's all the moon with it. Like, but uh, it is difficult living with CF, but it's difficult as a family, and there's families out there who'll appreciate this these. Uh, this conversation, but we just want to make his life as best as possible, as comfortable as possible. Um, and like I said, his 90 minutes every week are the best 90 minutes. It's the best part of uh, of, it, of his week. He, he lives for Saturdays, and um, and that's where it's sort of born out of. You know, that's where it's come from. So as we progress with Brandon and. He can live hopefully with a bit more comfort at night, and, and hopefully his, his aerobic capacity can be more consistent, which keeps him out of hospital. And we deal with this liver damage, and he's got at the moment a swollen abdomen that he's had for 12 months. He, he's going to the toilet eight, nine times, times a day. Um, the liver's damaged; it, the, the blood won't filter through his liver at the moment as well as it should do, but it's still working. So they like talk to me and my wife about looking into the inroads of transplants and things like that. So we, we go through a lot as a family and we do keep it separate because uh, we have to. We've got to go to work, we've got to pay the mortgage, we've got to do our, we've got to, we've got to do our thing. But, uh, you know, Brandon's in that place now and he's he's a great little boy dealing with it. I'm so proud of him as a dad and and, and we do really well. But as a family, it, it, it is our but to get this support from other people out external to what we are and I just think it's tremendous and I am very hum humble if that's the right word I'm not sure but very taken aback by uh, people wanting to, to help us I think I, I don't know what to say.